Okay, real quick video on how to do your um, firmware for your Hobby King um, brushless gimbal controller using the Martinez um, firmware. So we're going to stay with the original that's on there. So what we're going to do, we've bought that and it's got a version on there which we don't know what it is and we're going to put the latest on there. So we go to the um, to the Martinez site and you can just Google that and what you do what you get is you get um, this um, 50R202 and when you open it up um, what you get in there is you get the Gowie up in there you get some little pictures in there if you want to put in the voltage sensor uh, modification which don't really need to do and basically all you do is you open this so click on that in Adreno and you get um, this okay so the first thing you need to do once you're plugged in and hopefully you've connected and you've got your right COM port and you know what COM port you're set to first thing you need to do is go and go uh, file examples EEPROM clear EEPROM you get this all you do then is hit that button upload and it'll clear off your um, program that you've got on your um, on your chip and then you come out with a nice clean chip okay so then what you do is then you open up that um, 202 version that we've got here and basically all you need to do is verify it and it'll go through the little slide bar down here okay and verify the code and then all you need to do is make sure that you've got the right board. Now the board that you want is this guy down here. We'll come back to that if it'll stay up on the computer. There we go. It's the um, Pro Mini 5 volt with the uh, 328 uh, mega. Okay, so that's the one that you want there. And of course you make sure you pick your right serial port. Now I haven't got mine plugged in. Mine's got the different firmware on it as per the other video. But you pick your COM port, pick your board which is that one make sure it's all good it said it's done compiling and then you just press that button there bang wait for it to go through and it'll do the same thing again and say when it's done and, and that's basically it that's that's as hard as you um, that's as hard as you need to make it okay so then you go into here into your gimbal uh, Gowie and then you go mr. big tool there and um, you pick this up and again you go into your um, connect settings and um, it's trying to connect but I've got nothing connected uh, to it. Obviously you can set up all your all your accesses. Your PIDs will be in here, your roll and pitch, um, your RC. Um, you can set up your different channels for whether you want PP M or pulse width modulation which is the other one you can do your calibration your auxiliary so again that's about as hard as it gets if um, if you're looking for information on this um, and that is the picture there that picture is accurate with the 5 volt multi ground MOSI set clock reset RX TX and your voltage and of course this rail over here that's the one that connects to your little bottom of your board here's your motors for your pitch and roll now um, this is where your USB is here this is your USB here so if you have a look at that picture there there's the USB oh, I'll zoom in on that a bit there's your USB up the back signal is this side left hand side and ground is right hand side so if you go back to that there's your USB signal is left hand side ground is right hand side so signal positive ground signal positive ground okay so that that's all I did to work out what you needed don't forget <coughs> excuse me make sure you connect these around the right way otherwise you will blow that 5 amp fuse in there and uh, you won't kill the board but you'll blow that and you'll need to solder a new one on and some people have said put a 5 um, a uh, 5 amp uh, diode in there and uh, it'll just mean if you put it on back to front it won't work so you put it on the right way it'll work so you're blowing a fuse and having a resolder 
So basically that's um, that's about as hard as it gets, people. There's some information in here that says that if you had to do it and if, if it doesn't work, you go into the definitions and um, you change this address around. And if we have a look at that, uh, we go here, up here, we go into the definitions and this is it up here. You change this high to low. Okay, it says it all in the says it all in the in the manual. Again, it's a matter of going through Rocket City all day and waffle on about what you need to do. It's a matter of read the manual, try it, change a few things around, try it. If um, if you do something wrong, this will come up with an orange screen. Don't panic. It's a matter of you've got something wrong with a, either a COM port or a speed or, or the board that you've selected. Um, you won't kill anything. The only time you'll kill something is when you let out so the magic smoke. I hope that sort of clears the way, um, gives you a bit more confidence. So there we go. Um, that's about as much as I can sort of give you at the moment.